For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says two cables exert, exert forces on the pipe. Find the magnitude of the projected component of F1 along F2 and then find the angle between the two cables attached to the pipe. All right, first let's find actually the Cartesian components of F1. So we have an X component, F1 has a Y component and a C component. Now the C component is very easy to find, it's this component right here. And you can find it by doing uh, F, uh, F1, which is given, and sine of 30, which comes out to be negative 15 because it's going down on the negative C axis. Now we're going to find this projection right here. We're going to call it the projection of F1 onto the X, Y plane because F1 is coming down and it projects at 30 degrees in the X and Y plane. And we're going to need that projection to find the other two values. That projection is found by doing F1 cosine of 30 and it comes out to be 26. Now that we have that projection, we can see that the projection times the sine of 30 gives you the X value. because it's this value right here and this angle is 30 and the projection times the cosine of 30 gives you the y value which is this vector right here that's the y value so these values come out to be 13 and 22.5 respectively so now we got 13i plus 22.5 J minus 15 K so now we got the values for the uh, first force <coughs> now let's find the values Let me put a line right here for the second force now the second force has an X a Y and a C component just like F1 and now we're going to calculate all the values so we can see that right off the bat that uh, the y component of f2 is this component right here and we got the uh, direction angles and we got the magnitude which means that for y and for c we got f2 cosine of 60 f2 cosine of 60 as well because the angle with the y is 60 and the angle with the z is 60 and these numbers are 12.5 each they're the same so so we got the magnitude which is 25 uh, pounds the magnitude of f2 is 25 pounds which means by Pythagorean um, theorem we can actually find the uh, last remaining force we know that f of 2 of x squared plus f of 2 of y squared plus f of 2 of c squared is equal to f of 2 squared this is 25 this is 12.5 I'm sorry y is 12.5 this is 12.5 and this is what we're looking for when you solve for this uh, f of 2 of x you're going to get it's equal to negative 17.7 it's 17.7 .7, but it's negative because you can see it's going on the negative x direction so the vector comes out to be negative 17.7 i plus 12.5 j plus 12.5 k i remember we have the magnitudes that were given to us let me just put them here so i can come back and look at them so you want to find the projection of f1 along f2 so what you have to do is you have to find the univector of f2 and the univector along f2 is found by dividing the vector by
by the magnitude this vector by this magnitude so each the 17.7 .7, the 12.5 and the 12.5 are going to be divided by 25 and you're going to get the vector that you want the vector is going to come out to be negative 0 0.708 i plus 0.5 j plus 0.5 k so now that you have this vector if you wanted the uh, projection of f1 along f2 all you do is the dot product of f1 along the unit vector of f2 f1 is 13i plus 22.5j minus 15k dot negative 0.708i plus 0.5j plus 0.5k so 13 times negative 0 0.708 is negative 9.204 plus uh, 22.5 uh, divided by one uh, divided by 2 is 11.25 and negative 15 divided by 2 is negative 7.5 this all comes out to be negative 0.5 uh, sorry negative negative 5.454 and the fact that it's negative means that instead of going the same direction of f2 it's going the opposite direction just so you know but they're asking you for the magnitude and magnitude are always positive so it's 5.454 so this is the magnitude of the projection of f1 in terms of uh, along f2 and that's it for the first part and for the second part they want you to find the angle between them now remember that uh, f1 dot f2 the dot product between f1 and f2 is the same as the magnitude of f1 and f2 multiplied by the cosine of theta uh, you know, this is what you would uh, normally do but you could also do to save time the this is gonna be the same actually um, for finding the angle beta you could also do f1 times the unit vector of f2 f1 times the magnitude of the unit vector of f2 times the cosine of angle between them. what am i saying what i'm saying is that the the angle is going to be the same for for the unit vector f2 and the force f1 is the same angle as the force f1 and the force f2 because the unit vector f2 is same in the same way as the as the angle so you could also do it this way especially since you already know the value of this dot product so you don't have to go through the whole dot product again and save time so you would say that it's negative uh, 5.454 equal to uh, the magnitude of f1 is given at 30 the magnitude of f uh, the unit vector f2 is 1 a unit vector magnitude is always 1 cosine of theta so basically cosine inverse of 5.454 over 30 is going to be your angle which comes out to be 100.5 degrees So final answer for the for the angle between them. You can also do the dot product and go through these motions again, but to save time, you always want to catch these things on these kind of problems. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.